Hi, welcome to this video. I'm Marek Mulaczyk from SciTrain.co.uk and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Bridge to create PDF slideshow. Now this feature was new in Bridge CS4, so it works in CS4 and CS5. It didn't come originally with Bridge CS4, you will need to get an update for Bridge CS4. But if you keep on updating your software, and you should, you should have it. Basically, we'll create PDF slideshows using the output module. We used output module in the previous video, if you were watching it, how to create PDF, high resolution PDF documents using Adobe Bridge. This time we're going to create a slideshow. And for the slideshow we could use any files that are recognized by Adobe Bridge. In this case I'll be using just images, some JPEG files, but I could use any files really. I'm going to use these images here. I've got here uh, nine images that I'm going to use. So with folder opened, I'm going to jump into the output panel or output workspace within Adobe Bridge. I'm using Adobe Bridge CS5. I'm going to select all of these images. So I'll select one image in the content area and I'll just press Ctrl A or Command A to select all of them. And it shows me a preview of the images. At the top, I'll select PDF because this will be a PDF. For the template, we're going to customize in just a moment, but let's select something to start with. Because we're creating a PDF slideshow, I'm going to select maximize size. This will make sure that we get one image per page and the image is as big as possible. So I'll select maximize size. Okay. Now in the document section, I'm not going to use the paper sizes because I'm not going to print it. I want to preview it on a screen. So this will also change the quality. Because I'm going to use the screen for that, I'm going to use the web. This will show me all the most common sizes for screens. <coughs> okay. Now it depends where you're going to output it. Because if I'm going to use my laptop, my laptop resolution is 1280 by 768, which means I can easily use 1024 by 768. Okay. 1024 by 768 would also be a slight, well, would be the resolution of all the computer screens nowadays, whether it's a laptop or notebook or an iPad. That's the resolution. <coughs> okay. The quality will be set to low quality by default when you use web presets, so 72. That's fine. For the quality, I'm going to increase it to 100% to, to get the best possible quality because I'll be doing it on my machine. I'm not going to put it online. Bug right? Well, I'm not sure about that yet. Uh, at this moment, I can click on Refresh Preview to see how it's going to look more or less so I can start customizing it. Now what Bridge is doing is it's creating a temporary version of a PDF slideshow for us. And by the way, the images I'm using are the images from Albania in Southeast Europe. A fantastic, beautiful country with amazing people. I went there with a friend of mine um, back in 2006. So that's the preview. Okay. Looks great. I'm going to change the background color. So I'll click on this color swatch. And I'm going to use a dark gray, very popular for photography. I'll just press OK and I'll click Refresh Preview to refresh the preview. Looks good, maybe slightly darker. Okay, almost black. I'll refresh the preview. I'll keep on refreshing preview to get an update of the PDF. Of course you can pre uh, resize it as well. You can come here and resize that. Okay, and it's going to fill the window. I'm going to leave it just like that. Now scroll down. Uh, you can also add a password. This makes more sense for PDF documents when you want to send them. If you add a password, nobody will be able to open it. You can also add a disable printing feature so people won't be able to print it using the print feature within Adobe Reader or any PDF Reader really. <coughs> for layout, I'll leave it on the default. One column, one row. Okay. And then I'll scroll down. Rotate for best fit. Well, I don't really need that here because all my images are horizontal. Overlays. I don't want file names because I'm just creating a slideshow. I'll create fresh preview to remove this file name. The image will also get slightly bigger. That's fine. I'll scroll down. For the header, no, not really. I don't want the header to appear on every single page. The same with the footer. Well, with the footer, I could actually add something here. But now what? No, I'm going to leave it. I was thinking about adding a copyright, but now with CS5, this is new in CS5, we have a powerful watermark section within the output panel. Now if you use CS4, you may want to use the header or footer to add a copyright symbol, watermark. 
I'm going to use watermark section. But before we get to it, I'll go to the playback section. And yes, I want to open full screen mode. That's true. Automatic advance, yes. Five seconds, well, I'll make it four. Five seconds is a bit too long. I don't want to loop it after last page, no. For the transition, there's loads of transitions here. I'm going to use uh, fade. Speed, fast. Okay, this is the speed for the transition. And I'll scroll down to the last section here called watermark. I'm going to add watermark in the foreground. I'll place this on each image, yes. I'm going to insert a text and I'll type in 2011 Marek Mularczyk Photography Photography and maybe a copyright symbol in front of it as well Just a keyboard shortcut for that Hold the Alt key on the keyboard and then press 0169 If you're on a Mac it's Option G or Alt G And I'll click Refresh Preview to see how it looks we may need to change some options here now, it's, I can see it's really, really tiny so I'm going to increase the size and maybe use a different font I can use any font on my system, I'm going to use Gabriola okay, I'll refresh the preview once again because there's a few more changes we need to make here now it's a bit too big so I'm going to make that say 64 refresh preview looks good I'll make it white oh I'll just cancel that and I can select white from here and as one more change I want to do I'll make it semi-transparent so I'm going to dial the opacity down let's see about 50% refresh preview probably even less than that yeah I'll go down to about 30% then I'm also going to move it. I can offset it horizontally or vertically. So I'm going to move it vertically. Just preview. Okay. Up or down? Well, maybe down. So I'm going to move it to about minus 70, 80% to move it down. Or maybe on the sky. Now it's a good idea to put it in the sky. So I'm going to offset it to the top. I'll click refresh preview to see how it looks. And now it's in the sky looks okay, looks nice maybe slightly smaller, it's a bit too big I'm going to make that 48, 48 should be fine click on refresh preview once again there's the copyright and the last option here is I can save it, oh there's one more thing here, you can also rotate it okay. no, not something I'm going to use so I'll just click save and I'll be prompted to save it, so I'm going to save it on my desktop Hello. Uh, I just click on Add Desktop, and I'm going to call that slideshow underscore Albania as a PDF file. I'll click Save. Now, Bridge is generating PDF contact sheets, and it says it's done. So I'll just press OK, and let's see how it looks. I'm going to minimize Bridge. This is my PDF. Slideshow Albania. I'll just double click on it to open it with Adobe Reader. Open Adobe Reader and it prompts me if I want to go to full screen. Yes, I do. Just press yes. And this is the slideshow. It's going to run every four seconds between the images. It uses the fading transition. And that's how you create a PDF slideshow in Adobe Bridge CS4 and CS5. I'm going to press escape to cancel that and I'll close it. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Once again, I'm Marek Mularczyk from SciTraining.co.uk, one of the UK's leading specialists in Adobe Certified Training. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.